I have to say, one of my favorite things is the fact that my mom doesn't live too far down the road. So it's always fun when you can come over. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're going to be um, digging through Grandma's recipe box today. Fun. And, you know, this is something that I got after she passed away. And one of the things that I noticed one day when I was digging through recipes mm -hmm. was that one of the recipes was your socket to me cake. Oh. I'm so used to always seeing her recipes in there, but I thought it was fun that she had one of yours. Right, right. Well, it's a, it's a good recipe. It's one of my favorite things to make because whenever you take it any place, you never bring any home. Yeah, Everybody people love it. love it. Yeah. Where did you get that recipe? Well, actually, I got it from a friend in Tucson mm -hmm. when we lived in Tucson. Yeah. And it, I think they sometimes call it like a dump cake because mm -hmm. you just kind of dump all this stuff in there. and. Um, but it's just so easy and it's so good. I like it as a coffee cake kind of thing, but it could be, you know, dessert. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a coffee morning brunch kind of thing. Well, we are using it for brunch today because Great. I thought it would tie in good oh, with the perfect. other recipes that we're going to make. Perfect. And I do like the fact that it just starts with a cake mix. Yes, it does. So you put your cake mix in your mixer, and then what's my next round of recipe or ingredients, Mom? Okay, you need to add um, four eggs. Okay, I have those ready. This. All right. Okay, and then a cup of sour cream. Which I have. Sour cream in cakes is so good, isn't it? Yeah, it just makes it so nice and moist. It's so good. And then what's after this? A sour half a cream? cup of sugar. Got that? And a half a cup of oil. Perfect. So we have all of our ingredients in there. Okay, and, and I'll stir this up. Bake it for about, beat it for about three minutes. Okay. All right, our three okay. minutes is up. Now's when we layer in all the good stuff, right? Yeah, you're going to put half of it in the pan. Okay, and I need to grease and flour that first yes. too, right? So let me just do this. Move it around here. I have such good memories of grandma being a good baker. <laughs> yeah, she, she did it so easily, it seems yeah. like. I mean, we had a fairly large family, so she was always cooking something, and with a lot of men in the family, they were always hungry. Mm -hmm. so, but she just seemed to, to put it all together so easily and know what went with what, and right. it was, she was a good cook. She was a good cook. Yeah. That's why I love looking through her recipes, because I know there's not a bad one in the bunch. Yeah. Not all of them are my taste sometimes, you know. Yeah. I have to say, I don't think I can get into the mincemeat things. Yeah. But, right. <laughs> but yeah. I do, you know, every time I look through there, I'm like, oh, that sounds good. And I liked her recipes so much because they're easy. They are. They're you know, I mean, they're easy ingredients, what you could find right. in a small town grocery store, right. and they just all tasted good. Something about recipes, too, it's like, it's a way of keeping, keeping grandma here. Yes, you know? I feel like it's that like, every it's time. Great. All right, so I'm going to pour this into the pan, but just half, half of it, right, Mom? half of it Mom? or so, okay. yeah. Do a couple swirls. And then what's the mixture that I'm putting on top of this? You're going to put um, two tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon and some nuts. Okay. Do you have a favorite nut you're going to use? You like I to always, use? well, I think I always use Pecans. Pecans. But, but you could, could do be, walnuts. Yeah, walnuts would be good. I grabbed almonds today because it's just what I had in the pantry. Yeah, anything would be fine. And does this entire mixture then go on top of the batter? Yeah, you're going to sprinkle that all around in the on the batter. The cinnamon smells so good. Oh, it smells it? great. I can remember you making this as a kid. Really? Yeah, I do. I can remember it. Because I remember that brown swirl yeah. of the cinnamon and the sugar going through the center. You can add other things besides nuts. I mean, it's probably good with cranberries in the middle mm -hmm. or apricot, dried apricots or something like that. It doesn't have to be. I think that's why they call it like a dump cake, because you could kind of put in what, what you think would be good in right. the middle. All right. I love this mixing bowl. It makes it nice and big and easy to get yeah, that batter out. That's great. And then once I get this all in, it's 350, right? 350 for 45 to 60 minutes. Does this cake keep well? It does. Yeah. Yes, it does. It's just nice, a nice moist 
cake. And I'm trying to clean out all the batter the way grandma would have. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, growing up, that was the only bummer when I would go and bake with her. <laughs> there was never any batter left in the bowl no. to lick my fingers in. <laughs> she didn't waste anything. She did not waste a thing. All right, so that's in place. We put this in the sink. And into the oven we go. And 350, we go. right? 350 for 45 minutes or so. All right, Mom, we took this out of the oven. We let it cool for about an hour. Does it look like you remember? Yes, it looks great. Good. So I'm going to flip it onto a cake plate, just so we have kind of fancy for our brunch. Perfect. Beauteous. Perfect. All right, do you want to do the honors with the powdered sure. sugar? OK. Great. This is now, you can use a glaze with this, too, You can, right? you know, just a Any simple. Any flavor or just like a simple powdered sugar glaze? Whatever. Just you know, just a powdered sugar glazed and just enough to make it look pretty. Pretty. Right? Okay. All right. I think we should try a slice. I think we better make sure it's you okay know, for everybody. Make sure everybody else will approve. <laughs> so, and I think this is the fun part too, is when you can slice into it. Uh-huh. You can see where the cinnamon nuts yes, are. Yes, <laughs> right. Like, oh, that looks pretty. Great. So here's a slice for you. Okay. Here's a slice for me. Looks good enough to eat. All right, let's give it a try. All right. See how well we did here. Looks pretty good. Mm. Tastes like I remember. It's delicious. What <laughs> mm. a good recipe. Socket to me cake a family favorite from our home to yours. <laughs>